video we have seen about the uh, we have just trained uh, total three model that is a logistic regression we have trained the decision tree and also we have trained the random forest and we also saw, saw that we are getting a better accuracy on the random forest than of the logistic regression and the decision tree so now for this particular algorithm we are going to do for the k nearest neighbor that is basically we can just uh, i am going to write the text of that first of all that is a k and and I can just write a K N N that stands for the K nearest neighbor, K near nearest neighbor, K nearest near neighbor. Okay. So this was about the K N N. That is basically K N N is a, the algorithm name is a K nearest neighbor. And basically it is really a, the slowest algorithm we can just say. If you are going to go with the theory theory part of the K N N. So in the K N N we already saw that in the K N N we first of all what they are just doing during the training time they are only going to state up that parameter they are going to only set up the line that we, in which uh, part of the uh, that is if you are going to classify between 0 and 1 that 0 is if, if, if it is below the line then it is classified as 0 and if it is above the line then it is classified as a 1 okay that's what it's really basic thing means doing arrangement of data is going to be due in the training time but during the testing time you are just calculating the equilibrium distance and you are getting the using the neighbor concept and which is the most nearest uh, um, data on the basic of that you are going to assume that that is that particular uh, that that if you that is unknown data and if if, if you are using something k nearest neighbor something five or four and nearest neighbor you are going to see that features the more the feature belongs to which neighbor and if it is going to belongs to the one then it, you are going to classify as one or if it is zero then you are going to classify as zero i'm just giving you overview you can go with the videos also of the knn okay Again, we have to just import this for uh, KNN. How we are going to import? We can just write here as from sklearn. That is from S, uh, sklearn dot uh, neighbors. Neighbors. I can just write here neighbors. That uh, then after I can just import k. Now that is a k nearest neighbor. Okay, not a key error. That is basically neighbor. We can just from sklearn dot neighbors. I have, I might have done so. sklearn dot nei ghvrs. O O I O R S. Okay. From sklearn dot neighbors import. Basically, we have to just import k nearest near neighbor. Okay. So how we can just import n a n e i g h bar classifier. It can be. We are going to go with the classifier. You just import this thing. That's it. So let's say auto uh, auto substitution is going to become. So now the next mainly what we are going to do. We are just creating the object of this particular model. Okay. Creating model object. You can just write in anything. So it's really simple. Again, I'm just writing model underscore k n n, and then after I'm just going to pass here k nearest neighbor. And for the k nearest neighbor, basically what I'm just going to write here, I am again I'm just taking the same parameter. But here, see by default it might have for n neighbors it might have something five or four. We can just go through this one. That is see n neighbor we are getting as five. So it's up to you whether you are going to go six, seven, eight, nine. And on which accuracy you are getting a better accuracy you can just go and how we will see see now you can just go with the two technique i guess you can use the fold which is really simple i will just go with this so every time you don't have to go with the by default parameter because you want to check for which particular uh, neighbors we are getting a better accuracy i can just write it for i in range of particular from where to which neighbor i can just take from starting from four neighbor i can just end with the maximum 11 to 12 neighbor you can just give that shit. i don't even go with the 11 you can you can go with the 11 maximum okay and then after what we are going to write here uh, uh, now we already have the model you are making the object of this so you have to just copy this one for now i'm just copying this and then after for now i'm just going to just keep as it is as comment and here I'm going to write for the n neighbor I'm going to write here that is a i. I hope so you understand the for loop so that I'm not going in that much detail because every time you are going to change the neighbor 4, 5, 6 and you are just checking the accuracy on which particular model you are getting a better accuracy and then after you are just going to work or fit and you are just passing x underscore train comma y underscore train okay and this is how you are getting something uh, you, you are just training your model and then next is basically the prediction part prediction is based prediction of the k n n basically you are going to use the model underscore k uh, that is sorry model underscore k n n model underscore k n n and then after what you are just writing here predict okay and then after predict in this you have to just pass x underscore test 
that's it we have to just pass for the testing data and then after what we are making the accuracy of that calculating accuracy of that and how we are going to uh, uh, know the accuracy of that you can just write here accuracy score you don't have to write everything but even i'm just going to write no problem accuracy score and here i have just to pass the two parameter the first parameter is basically white underscore test and the second uh, the second parameter is basically predict underscore knn this is what we are going to write and then after print accuracy accuracy score or that is basically uh, you can just write here knn let's run this one and see on which party accuracy you are getting the better accuracy even i can just pass here i it's fine sorry sorry okay so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you are getting a better accuracy if I am going to run up to 12. So let's see uh, whether it's going down. Even it is increasing. If you are going to go with the 15, you can just check. This is the basically hyperparameter tuning you are doing. You, you are not sure. Anyone can't say that under the basic of this neighbor, you are getting a better accuracy. So you are getting the best accuracy, I can just say in the 11. This is the 65.55. Even it is less than the random forest, what we are just getting. So we can just take I value as a 11. Now this is basically you have done have a parameter tuning. You are just checking on the which particular I value you are getting a better accuracy. Now you can just uh, you can just copy paste that is it that that it is. So either you can copy paste or whatever you can just do. I'm just writing a copy pasting and basically at the which on position of which I'm just getting the tab and uh, basically I'm just keeping I never as a 11 on this page in the 11 we are getting a better accuracy. So this is basically. Uh, I don't have to write this I okay so you are getting a something 65% of accuracy and I can just even write 100 so it will be really okay so you are getting 65.54 accuracy for the K nearest neighbor you are getting uh, basically 67% uh, you are getting accuracy in random forest in decision tree you are getting a 62% and and that is basically uh, that is a uh, for the logistic regression you are getting something 61% so we can just say that uh, basically K, uh, that is K nearest never getting giving us the leg, less accuracy than a random forest but it is giving a better accuracy of than the logistic regression also and also the decision tree so that's all about what we are going through the K nearest neighbor so this is the way you can just check on the which neighbor you are getting the best accuracy and then take that neighbor as the main and then that is using this one using for loop and that you that is basically a K nearest neighbor that's all was all about the K nearest neighbor so in the next video we are going to see about the support vector machine that is a SVM that's all for this video thank you